Okay guys, we are here showing you guys how to set up a BMS communicator for the batteries. We've got a standard ethernet cable right here. And at the end of it, you can use any length cable. We don't go in pre-making because everyone wants, a, everyone wants a different cable. But at the end of it, you cut it off and you want the brown and brown white wires. That's the brown and brown white wires, not the green and green white wires right there. Brown and brown white. This is your standard USB adapter. Now, something you may notice on the bottom of the adapter, one of them says positive and one of them says negative. Uh, you've got your dark, your brown, solid brown going to negative, and your brown white going to positive. This USB adapter plugs into a computer, and you may have to first determine what your COM port is. I just use Device Manager in Windows. So it shows a USB serial CH340. We're going to have the driver for this posted on our website. A lot of times it will just automatically download from Windows. But if you want to force install it, that's on our website. Um, so you, that is your COM3 identification. You have the standard BMS software, which I've pulled up here. So we know the COM ID is 3. And what we want to do here is start monitoring. And what this is going to show, communication online, it's got all the information on the, the software version, the serial number, but you notice I've got every cell readout here in, ev all the bat in the battery. I've got right now a state of charge, 111%, state of health is 100%. That's what the BMS is going to tell you about the life cycle of the battery. You typically are going to re reach, you're going to retire the battery around a 75% life cycle. Um, because then it really starts falling off. That's why if you notice on eBay, everyone's always trying to dump 70% lithium batteries. And most people think, oh, gee, I got 70% life left. That's ridiculous. Now, uh, you know, it's going to, you know, cliffhanger off of that. So you've got a very slight cell, cell difference. And what you'll see over here on the trip status, alarm status, is uh, whenever, the, uh, whenever the balancer is engaged, you're gonna see a you're gonna see a slight you're gonna see a light come on come on on the balance set. Whichever cell is imbalanced, it'll show you which one's charging. Now these are not different enough. You know we got a 3.204, 3.200, uh, 107, and 197. It's it's, it's the, the the difference is very little. And you notice we also have just a temperature reading on all four quadrants of the battery. This is one of the things that just makes this so intelligent. Um, you can actually pull a data log of, you know, actual current off the battery um, at any given moment, historical record, uh, the BMS parameters, uh, BMS control. You can get the uh, cycle counts. We can hit get. It's, this battery's only had four cycles on it on its entire life. It's already on a test bench, so we don't really use it that often. Um, we're going to start using it more, I assume. We're going to try to start cycling on a regular basis. Uh, the one on my home has probably had hundreds of cycles on it already this year. Uh, some of the initial actual parameters, if you want to change any of this, this requires an authorization you'd have to get from us, and uh, we're really cautious about telling people to, to change any of their main parameters on the battery, and, you know, it could, it could damage the warranty status of the battery. So uh, just keep us... Uh, this is a pretty standard, easy setup, and it gives you a ton of information.